guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is over the I Love Sada E and A Dose of Colors collaboration. So I bought my collection at my nearest Ulta, the one that I worked at, and unfortunately they didn't have all the lips that came with the collection. They had Fressa Aesthetics and then they had Barely There, they had that, but they didn't have Brillo nude chica or peachy and those are the three that i really wanted so i wasn't able to get that part of the collection but i was able to get the eyeshadow palette and one of the highlighters i got soul matte because uh, i think bathe was too pinky for me so i went with the gold one and then i'm so excited for the eyeshadow palette i literally like just got it and i was like i need to film right now so first I'm going to show you guys what the packaging looks like. You can see right here, it's a very pretty nude packaging. And then on the top right here, it says eyeshadow palette. And then right here has Karen's signature, her um, Instagram and like all her social media handles. And then Dose of Colors. Super cute. I love how chic it is. It's very Karen. And then this is how her palette looks. It's so gorgeous it has like all the greenery around it and then again it has a nude and then her signature and dose of colors and then this is what the inside looks like guys excuse my nails i'm getting them done tomorrow but it's so pretty so and then it comes with a little mirror up there and it has six shades this one is poquito mass Sun Glow, and then this is Wonderlust, Loungy, Palma, and then Finders Keepers. I think that's the order that it goes in, or it might be flopped. Hopefully I said it right, but I'm so excited. I really want to use these three colors for sure. I think I'll probably end up using all of them, just so like I can test all of them out for you guys. But yeah, I'm super excited to try the palette. And then the highlighter almost looks the exact same, but it's in a smaller packaging. On the top of here it says Soul Matte, and then you can see this is like the exact same packaging. And then inside there is a mirror, and then this is the highlight. It looks so pretty. So yeah, I'm super excited to use both of these products. I'm like literally been waiting for it. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to do my brows first. I'm not really going to mention the products that I use because I use them all the time. I'm just going to do it quickly and then get on with her products. kind of messed up but we're gonna fix it so ignore it for now please guys I was laying out in the Sun and like I don't know why I got this weird tan line right here it's so weird so just ignore that please so I did my brows. I'm going to go ahead and set my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. So I know I used to say that after you set like your eyeshadow primer that you should set it with powder but actually not setting it works 10 times better. I look like I have like a mask on. It's so weird. Okay so now that that is set I'm going to go ahead and go into her palette and I'm going to start off with this color down here which I believe is either finders keepers or it's loungy. I can't really tell. I'm pretty sure it's loungy. If I'm like looking at it correctly. I started doing this thing where I start from the outside. Which I guess I should have been doing in the first place. Like really working it in on the outside. And then bring it in, bring in, bringing it in 
Oh, I cannot tell. And I'll just like pack on product and then blend it out afterwards. Because I really want it to be super pigmented. Um, I've been watching this guy on Instagram. It's Mitchell or something. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's his Instagram. But he is freaking amazing. Like his makeup looks are just so pigmented and like precise. Like I want to go to his master class so bad. So now you can see like it's super pigmented, but it's not blended out. I'm going to zoom you guys up a little. Um, so now I'm going to take a uh, brush that has no product on it and blend it out. See, it's blending out really, really nice. So you can see the color is kind of diffused and now that I've at, like blended it out. So I'm going to go back in with that color, the light orange and put it back in. I'm going to go in with the darker one right here and also put it into my crease, but a little bit lower. You can see I'm like dragging it way past where my eye is. I've been really liking doing that. It kind of elongates my eyes. So Loungy actually didn't have a lot of fallout. This one right here, which is Wonderless, has a... It's No, I think this is Paquito Moss. Yeah, so I think I said it wrong. I think this is Paquito Moss, Sun Glow, and then Wonderless, which it makes more sense. And then Loungy, Palma, and Finders Keepers. Paquito Moss right here has a little bit more of a fallout, but really not that much at all. It's nothing crazy. I'm gonna go back with the brush that I used for the little like orange soda pop color blend it use it to blend out the uh, like burnt orange color a little bit more I'm going to go in and cut my crease a little bit. Guys, which color should I use? I think I'm going to do the black. I'm going to cut my crease and do the black. I love cutting my crease because I don't have a lot of eye space and so when I cut my crease it just makes me feel like I have way more lid than I actually do. So I cut my crease and so now I'm going to add this black shimmery shade. Let's see how it looks. I'm scared but I'm excited. So this one does have a lot more fallout. I'll just show you guys. If you guys can see it right there. But like I said, I'm not bothered. Oh my gosh, it's so pigmented. Holy crap. Guys, this shade is actually so pretty. So I just realized this like literally makes me look like I got punched in the eye right now. But we're gonna clean it up and make it look cute. Did you guys 
just use this shade. I definitely recommend like using it first. Oh my god, look at my eye. I'm dead. And we're just gonna... Yep, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. My mom was like, why is your nose black and why is there black all over your face? And why does your wing liner look like that? Okay, so like it's okay if you're dir it's dirty like this because you can just wipe it away with a makeup wipe. Or you can use a um, piece of tape. I wasn't thinking. I'm just like freehanding this because I don't know what I wanted to do. I'm super not prepared. Oh, but how much better does that look? Wow. So since my eyeshadow is so dark, I don't want any of my waterline to peek through. So I'm going to use this black um, eyeliner from Lancome and tightline my upper eyelid. So now that I'm done with my eyes for now, I'm going to go ahead and glue on my lashes. These are the Mykonos Lashes by Lily Lashes, my absolute fave. I'm just going to glue those on real quick, and then we're going to start on our face. This is probably like the most dramatic eye look I've ever done. For my brow bone, I am going to use the color Wonderlust over here. And that shade has like no fallout. Nothing whatsoever. Let's start on the face. I'm going to prime and then I'm going to apply my foundation. I'm going to use my Japanese foundation today. It's their Luminous Foundation. I'm putting it on my Urban Decay Optical Blurring F105 brush. Best foundation brush. If you guys are looking for one, I literally love it. Okay, concealer using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Guys, I love this concealer. Haven't put it down since I've gotten it. You guys are going to hate me, but love this more than Tarte Shape Tape. I like luminous concealers, and the Tarte one just wasn't luminous enough. It was pretty... It wasn't drying underneath my eyes, but it wasn't, like, hydrating or radiant so I stopped using that one a while ago I'm gonna set the rest of my face with a tart powder For bronzer, I'm using MAC Give Me a Sun. For blush, I'm using NARS Orgasm. Just a little bit of blush. I used to hate blush and now I like, can't imagine life without it. For highlights, we're gonna use the I Love Sada E collection. And I'm using the Soul Matte, like I was talking about. It does have a little bit of fallout. If you guys could see that. Oh my gosh. I was not, oh my god, I was not expecting that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, I have... I haven't been this impressed with a highlighter in a long time. Holy crap. Holy guys. 
this has to be the most intense highlighter I've ever put on. Not gonna lie, because when you look at it in the pan, it doesn't look like super shimmery or anything, or like that it would give a crazy glow, but I'm gonna put a little bit of this in my inner corners. I'm gonna finish up my brows in Benefit um, Gimme Brow. do like a bright red or if I should go with like a nude I think nude okay guys so this is the final look I love it I was kind of scared halfway through because I wasn't sure how it was going to end up um with the black but I absolutely love it I've never done a look like this before I absolutely love this collection the eyeshadow was beautiful like everything um was so pigmented and creamy um the only one that had a lot of fallout was this black one down here but I know like the color black is really hard to create so that doesn't bother me everything else was super creamy barely any fallout easy way 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 easy to blend um and packaging is just like you can't beat it highlight like if you like a blinding highlight go get it now like this is the best highlight i've ever 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 used i literally have probably like 30 highlighters and this is the most intense one i've ever used so i love sadie karen she did a great job you guys should definitely go get it right now if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up i will link how to get it in the description box on um, dose of colors and ulta.com so don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye